Okay. Uh, my next quest here is talk to Arangir at High Hrothgar. We're trying to form a uh, peace treaty between the Stormcloaks and the Imperial. Uh, General Tullius is going to be there and Ulfric. Possibly. I don't know. This is something new to me. I've never had to go through this playing Skyrim, but it is a, an option. So let's fast travel there. I lost uh, Serana as a follower. I think it's because of this quest. I mean, she wants to go and find Ariel's bow, but th th this is part of the main quest. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, Iron Gear. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get them to agree to peace. peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay, here. Delphine Esper? What so, the hell? Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Who are you? The hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. Holy crap. Esfern and Delphine at High Hrothgar. Two arch enemies. <laughs> This is going to be something. And is Ulfric and General Tullius going to be there as well? Oh my goodness. <laughs> as Shirley Temple would say, oh my goodness. Look at, look at this. There's Ulfric. Ulfric and his henchmen. There's General Tullius. Your seat. Holy crap. Where's my seat? Why delay? Uh, please, take... Why delay? Uh, please, Where's my seat? take your seat so that we can be... Oh, there it is. Over there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you guys get out of my way? <sighs> oh, God. Take your seat. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Holy... I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of... you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What, what, me? what do you think? 
Are we going to let Ulfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? Come on, guys. Uh, I'm going to say... Elwyn should stay. I'm Elwin. glad we see eye to eye on this. We walk then. No, we'll stay. Out of respect for the Dragonborn and our Greybeard hosts. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No, not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough! First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. God, I couldn't give an answer. <laughs> oh. Oh, frick, hold only frick holds only one home. He is no position to make demands. Damn right. You heard the man, Ulfric. Markarth is off the table. Your rabble is on the verge of defeat. We have no need of a truce at such a price. I expect a better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think this war is nearly won, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thelmor. You can trample us underfoot, but we will rise again. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Garmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You'll never get a better chance to salvage something from the ruins of your ambition. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. 
And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with a... If he's right about Alton, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. If we're not going to get Markar, we need you to give us something. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and then Gear of Stun resumes the Yalshi. What makes you think I'll give that to you if I wouldn't give you Markarth? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Oh my god, I gotta make this decision. Uh... Okay, let's, let's give him fall grief. You treat us fairly. Thank you. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. <laughs> These terms are still not acceptable. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth remains allied to the Empire under the authority of Jarl Igmund. Falkreath will be turned over to Ulfric, and Dengir of Stoom will return as Jarl. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unsla. You should be pleased, Alicef. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. You... you disappointed me. You gave too much away. More than was necessary to secure this truce. I did what I thought was right, okay, Tullius? You Just should get off my back. Your oath to the Emperor next time you're deciding what's right. Pay no attention to him, a ponderous windbag, like most Imperial generals. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. I admit, I really didn't expect you'd be able to arrange a truce. Getting Ulfric to agree to anything at all is quite an achievement. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't I can do it. that certain detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temp, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, 
I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. How does it help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when he called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's the dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. Snow called dragon? You know what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill No, him no. Until he's dead. No. Well, you're wrong. I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. You're wrong. You're wrong. What have you against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't... Delphine, you, you have no idea. Have they tried to stop the civil war? You are clueless. Done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna ignore you. Okay, let's let's get out of here. Delphine, just leave, okay? Anyway, that was the council. Uh, oh, they were top top people here at High Hrothgar. Um, I'll put a list of all the important people that were here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This was a very educational meeting here at High Hrothgar.